Back in 2017, I realized that I was done working a desk job and I wanted to make a career for myself as a full-time oil painter. Within three years, I'd left that job and not only was I painting full-time, I was actually surpassing the income that I was ever able to make in the corporate world. But those three years, as well as the journey leading up to them, were not a straightforward or easy path. So today, I want to walk you through the exact steps that I would take if I were doing this all over again today in 2023 so that you can do it too. Whether your goal is to be genuinely proud of the paintings that you create in your free time for fun, or you want to have a whole second career as a fine artist, or you want to paint full time when you retire, this video is for you. So if I were starting all over again from scratch today, here is how I would go from hobby artist all the way to professional oil painter. First things first, I would have a clear goal for what I want to accomplish, both in terms of professional goals, if those are applicable, and the style I want to paint in. Some examples of professional goals could be, I want to be able to sell enough work to cover my supply costs. Or, I want to be in the studio every day and I want to love every minute of it. Or, in 10 years I'm retiring and I would like to ramp up to the point where I already have a thriving art business before I make that transition. Now, as far as what stylistic goals you want to accomplish, this looks like, what are the paintings that you want to make? What subjects are they? What is the technique used to create them? In my case, I really love loose painterly a la prima portraits first and foremost. I'm interested in bold brushwork and often pretty impressionistic color. The reason that this is so important to know is that so many painters start with a clear idea of what they're drawn to, but they nonetheless kick off with a very general approach, or they choose instructors who teach a completely different technique than the one that they're genuinely most interested in. I can't tell you how many painters want to dig in to painting a la prima, but they actually learn a painting technique that requires an underpainting or encourages them to block in their painting with pencil when their desire is to go straight in with paint. Before the age of the internet, this made sense. If you wanted to be an artist, it was pretty important that you simply happened to live near other artists who happened to work the way you wanted to work because they represented your only access to the kind of education you would need to get good at this. But now that we have the entire internet at our disposal and so many artists are on here sharing their approaches and their best practices with you so that you can apply them to your own work, it is really important to actually be intentional with where you want to go so that you can get the kind of instruction that matters to ensure that you get there. Simply put, knowing your goal can help you to have a clear idea of what you should be practicing, what you should be painting, and who your ideal teacher would be to guide you along that journey. This brings me to step two, which is to find a teacher who is able to give you the kind of support that you actually need. This means someone skilled in the techniques and approaches that you want to paint in based on your goal, who is also a great personality fit to work together with you in a close way, and who is a skilled teacher in their own right. This is so essential because when I think of literally anyone who performs just about anything at a high level, they did not get there alone. Professional athletes and musicians have dozens of coaches working with them across their lifetime to help them on performance and technique. Artists have schools, workshops, mentors, and entire communities to help inspire them, give them feedback on their work, and make sure that they actually stick with their goals in order to achieve them. So when you look for a teacher, make sure that that person is truly aligned with the goal that you identified back in step one. They should know how to teach what you want to do. They should have a personality that jives with your own, and they should know how to walk you through the full process to get you from where you are today exactly to the goal that you really want to hit. This is how I approach the work that I do with my students. We make sure that I can help them reach the unique goal that they have for their painting. We make sure that together we're a personality fit. And then from there, I walk them through baby step by baby step what they have to do to make their goals happen. If you'd like to see more information on what exactly that looks like, or if you would like to talk with me directly to see what that looks like specifically for you, and to see if we could be a fit, check out the mentorship link in the description. Now, once you have a goal and you have a teacher who can help to get you there, you need to figure out the best way to practice for you. This is different for every person, so it's helpful to have a teacher or mentor who can suggest painting exercises specifically for you. 
Then evaluate how you do on each one together so that you can figure out what's going to work best for you in the immediate term and in the long run. Personally, I like to look not only at what's effective, I want to find out what you are excited to do over and over. That way, we can trust that when we find an exercise that helps you to move the needle on the painting techniques that count, we're going to see years of growth because you're doing it over and over, because you will want to go back to those exercises over and over, because you enjoy doing them. The reality is, is that I could hand you the world's most effective painting exercise to build up your drawing or value skills, for instance, or to help you not mix muddy color. But if you find it to be an absolute chore, at best, that exercise is only good for a couple weeks worth of growth before you never want to do it again. And at worst, it could burn you out completely and turn you away from painting, which is the last thing that we want. Then you need to put in the reps. As James Clear remarks in his book, Atomic Habits, it's easy to get bogged down trying to find the optimal plan for change. The fastest way to lose weight, the best program to build muscle, the perfect idea for a side hustle. We are so focused on figuring out the best approach that we never get around to taking action. As Voltaire once wrote, the best is the enemy of the good. To put this plainly, if we spend all of our time sitting around thinking about the perfect way to improve our art, we probably aren't doing enough of the one thing that actually makes our art better, which is, taking action. Clear continues to say that the only way to become excellent is to be endlessly fascinated by doing the same thing over and over. You have to fall in love with boredom. I like to think of this maybe as falling in love with the everyday of painting or falling in love with doing the same kinds of exercises over and over. So we have to do the work and we better love doing that work and fall in love with a day-to-day -day routine because there is no substitute for repetition when it comes to mastering your craft. You cannot outthink or outsmart mastery. It requires putting in the time with exercises that are designed to get you clearly to the goal that you have for yourself. Think about a musician practicing scales or a basketball player doing shooting or passing drills. These things don't end just when we get good. So to get to expert levels, we need to already practice with the intention and the dedication of the artists that we want to emulate. After clarifying your goal and the best way to practice for you and putting in the brush miles, you should start to see the kinds of paintings you want to create from the start emerging in your own work. But it can be tricky to go down this path without support or a community. So if you would like help on this road to meet all of your big painting goals, make sure to check out the link in the comments to learn more about working together with me. I'd love for you to find out more. And from there, we can hop on a free call to discuss your goals and the ideal path to get you there. Until then, let me know what your questions are about what I would do if I were starting all over from scratch today with my painting journey. I would love to chat with you all in the comments. And until then, thank you for watching and happy painting.